So, this video will be about... Dang bro, my hand looks so plain. <sighs> um, so, uh, I'm recording with a new phone, so it's all zoomed out, which is really nice. And we'll be talking about what's going on on this table. And on this table, I got a new tripod. New stuff coming to the tracks. And the main part will be about the red cat and what's going on with that. So first we're going to start with the tripod. This was my old one. And this is what I mounted the phone to. Now, that is my super trusty light device. That's where I'm getting my light from. This became all flimsy and I glued it like five or six times. But, um, now this was from uh, Telescope. So there's that one. So this is my new one. What just happened? Okay. This is my new one. Much shorter in the tiny position. Better for recording RC cars. And it also goes taller. With these locks up to 51 inches. Um, and with the how far the legs spread out, it doesn't spread out as far as this one. So it's not as stable, but it'll work better than this. It's more compact. And that's it for the tripods. I'll put the link to that in the description. Well, because now what's going on with the Traxxas is got a new motor because for the video I haven't made yet well okay wait 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 I should say that so I went to my gran grandma's ravine and I was trying to get up a muddy hill and smoke started coming from the motor which is partly because a while ago I was trying to do a TikTok thing where they were showing how much their tires flex and I did it on my car but and the motor started smoking. So I think that must have damaged it and caused the motor to smoke with less stress. So we got this hobby wing, two in two in one, uh, breastless motor for crawlers. It's really cool. I already took some packaging off, that's why I look so messy. I guess. But here it is. It's a 540 size motor, and if you don't know what that means, it's 54 millimeters long. This one has a 550 old gear, so that means it's 55 millimeters long. So it'll still fit just fine. And this one is also m more tunable. Instead of holding this button for lights to blink, it's got dump it out this super fancy device for tuning a uh, program card can't really see it there not really doesn't really want to focus but there's a lot of stuff on this um uh that's not what this video is about because this adapter is different from this so I ordered a adapter thing instead of changing connectors and then having to get new batteries and chargers. Well, I wouldn't have to do that, but I don't really want to deal with that. This is also cheaper, I think. It's getting like a $8 adapter, but I am getting three of them for $8. Why three of them? I have no idea. And that's it for the tracks. Just... No, the red cap. Why is the body, why is only the body here, you know, may ask? Well, that is because it's kind of in pieces. Why, you may ask? The, well, now, I also took the red cat down on the ground with a zine, and my dad was driving it. And, uh, out of nowhere, it started clicking, and totally, can't even see, unless I do that, I don't, that's nerve-wracking, but... Um, the spur gear, can't really see it, but it uh, ground itself down, so 
now it's not working right. And I also took the red bars off the chassis, I'm just going to do a stock, because that actually ended up working worse than it, it was worse. Uh, the metal pieces were bending around and riding like this. So, spur gear is not here yet. So, we're going to put it half of it together. Why only half? Because I don't need it. I don't need this to be in. I don't need it to be in this condition right now. It's it's fairly easy to access. It's it's in the open. So that is what this video will be about, and discovering what screws go where. But I think I said I think. Oh man! But yeah, I'm thinking. To put it like half together like that, you know, get these attached at least. Sort of figure out how it goes back together. Yep, that's what this, will, this video will be about. So this right here is what I am looking for. It might help. It might. It might. It just might. I don't think this is gonna help. This is going to be really difficult. As I, I, I took it apart uh, roughly a week ago, so I don't really. Oh, that um, that had to help. Nah, I'm, I don't know what you know. Discovering what screws go where or what will be the most difficult part. So, so. First thing I think I'm gonna do is disconnect the servo from this whole thing so I don't have this hanging around right now because I need to get this attached here with this plate which goes on with those little knobs, nubs, nib nubs, like that. So that's step number one. So, to remove the servo from this mess, we need to, I, I'm not gonna unscrew it from this whole thing, that's just more screws to deal with, I don't wanna do that. We are just gonna unplug it from, I think this is the receiver, I think, I'm not entirely sure, pretty sure it is, but, uh, Got twisty ties instead of zip ties, which is supposed maybe nicer. Not really. And do this. That's, that feels super stiff. That. Yeah, and then was that the only one? Was the only one? Then we just pop and plug it. And then. How that is all separate. Go in the other in our made up pile of axles. Now we just have this contraption to deal with. This originally sat here, but that got moved around by different things I did. I think the first thing we should do is attach it back to this plate. Just like that. With what screws? I don't know. Four of them that are the same. Now, I'm gonna pause the video for this. Instead of looking at in, instead of looking at the instructions to identify the screws, I just now remembered they all look like that from dragging the underbelly. Easy peasy. After some digging, I found all four. Nice. So, I do uh, plan on using a drill, but I have it on the weakest setting. So, it's much, much weak. I'm going to make sure I don't make the same mistake I made while putting those uh, steel V-lock wheels together for the track. That. Wow, that was quick. I already dropped it. That's impressive. 
Yeah. Do my best to not, not make the mis that mistake again while not taking forever to put something back together. And, uh, when I do get the new square gear, it'll be really easy to put back on. There's just a little nut here. Easy. And, awesomely, it's a metal one, so it shouldn't strip out. I might actually hand tighten them later. It's probably a good idea. That missed. There it is. I think I'm doing a better job of keeping everything in frame. Unlike the, uh, Ooh. putting together the beadlock wheels. I think you do such a good job there. Alright, now we need to cut I can't get tighter. Unless the bit is too big. Which I doubt. I'm gonna check those. Nope, it was the right size. The other one, the other Phillips bit I have is too tiny. Um, I don't have anything to talk about, so I'm gonna pause it here. So I got another screwdriver from another kit I have that's much more expensive. I fix it with 60 bucks. This was 24. So, just gonna make sure they're all decently tight. Which they are, as I expected. So, that is done. I'm figuring out how to route these cords. Uh, that's another story and a half. And then also figuring out which way the spur gear is. Actually, that's easy. It won't fit this way. It'll only fit. Well, let me get a bigger view of this. I'm trying to do better camera work. Um, wow, and then I, and I put it on the floor. Uh, that doesn't work. Spur gear has to go in this slot right there. So, oh. Nope. That doesn't work. It has to be this way. So the court mm, that that don't entirely seem right. Um uh no, it doesn't. Well, I, I mean, this this seems more correct. It seems. And then, pow. I'm pretty sure I remember it being like this. Uh, I'm gonna try and look at a picture in the book in a second. That you can see the cords going right there. So nice. now finding the screws for that. Yay! That's always fun. Oh, must have dropped something. I'm gonna pause it again. I just discovered um, this gets screwed in with these. And uh, goes something like that. And then screws into the plastic as well. So, um, I guess that's the next step in stopping and stop dangling these cords. Yeah, I keep putting the thing below the camera. There we go. And then, well, I know this is the back. All right, that makes it easier. Is the back, there's no servo. Um, these? Oh, this went up 
I, holy, I am really bad at keeping stuff on claim, aren't I? Um, I gotta get a different camera angle. There. Now, hopefully, everything I do will be in frame. Alright. Alright, get this over here. I'm trying to show what I'm doing. Ooh. Alright, that's in place. And that'll go on. Like that. And squeeze. 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 Use for that as I look at this and try to make sense of it somehow. 18043, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, 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 one, one, eight, zero, four, three. So, I'm pretty sure I found the screw. It fits, doesn't go all the way through. Uh, that rotates? What the? I did not know that rotated like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are screws. And I don't need four. I need one more to get the other side. Of it. Which maybe I should just do one side at a time. That might be easiest. I'm gonna try not to lose that screw. Um, the shock, panel, and then this over right here. I'm gonna do this one first. This one requires a nut, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna double check. Alright, I'm pretty sure I found the right screw. It is this little one. Pow. 98066 is the part number that's on there really well. But anyways, um, with how much that is sticking through, I'd say that's the right screw. So, also, for the bit, I was using a uh, number one, and now I'm using a number two. So, there's that, and, uh, where'd the nut go? Are you serious? I am serious, apparently. I really did already lose the little nut. That's amazing. How amazing is that? Wait, 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 wait. I think I found it in my bowl. Uh, that looks like the same one. So, I am pretty sure that is it. Gonna try to manage to put it back. Oh, do not. I do not, I repeat, I do not want to tip that. I really, really don't want to tip that. This is a really annoying one today. So I'm trying to get it on that little screw right there, somehow. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. And I got it started. So now, I, don't, I gotta find something to hold it while I screw it on. So, what I think I used to take it off these needle nose vice grips. Which is a pain in the butt. Nuts on RC cars are a guaranteed pain in the butt if they're this tiny. Tinier. Alright, that's that's locked. And then I put a number two bit on the grill. I'm going to try to do this. With it being a nut on there, I can make it fairly tight. That was, to be honest, pretty easy. If I do this on myself, I'm putting the shotgun. 
I've messed with the shock before. So, I might, 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 no, I still do what might, did I use the wrong screw? That's possible, very possible. Oh, okay. No, I didn't use the wrong screw. It's actually the same screw for multiple things. If I can take the if I can take the nut off. It's so little to grip to. Wow. What the heck? This is dumb. So far, Praxis has been much nicer to work with. To work on. Probably because it has um uh what what I'm looking for a word. I don't remember what it was. Uh Hex screws, which is harder to strip out than Phillips. That should go. Pow. Now, this is in the way, so that'll be a very joyful time putting that back on. So, gotta somehow. Right, my hand's gonna be in the way, but if. You do this yourself, you'll be able to experience the pain in the butt. Which is... There we go. Magical drilling device. Pow. Alright. Done. How nice. How joyfully awesome that is. I'm making progress. That actually does feel good though. It does. Hmm. Just looking at something. Uh. No, that's right. Oh, also, a small teensy weensy itsy bitsy upgrade. You can do to this. Stock, the screws on this hole. Let's zoom in a little bit to show you. Um, stock, it's on this hole. If you put it on this one, which is right next to it, it makes the shock more. Let's zoom back out. More straight up. It helps a little bit, and that'll do a little something with you know help your torque with. Yeah. Oh shoot, drive shaft. Mm, I don't even I don't even have it on the side. That's wonderful. I don't think it's too late to put it on. Hopefully it's not. But yeah. I should have put it on earlier. If you already put it on earlier, good for you. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. At least I know for a fact it's, it'll be easy to tell find the screw. I spoke too soon about it being easy to find the screw. Because I'm not seeing it in here. Wall. That's not good. Um, it's it's like that it'll go on like that it's got a head it doesn't really have much of a head on it more of the threads but I am not seeing it why? I'm not seeing it ah. 
short wheel drive rock crawler I don't think is actually that effective. That's not good. Mm -mm. I may have actually walked it one time. And I forgot. Well, I'll be right back. So, I don't know where that scoot is. But um, I may have a replacement from a shift knob. These little screws that tighten it might fit. Might. Notice how I said might. Uh, Alright. Let's get our super scientific ultra. Too tiny. Awesome. I love that. I love grabbing the wrong size. One way to be able to tell if it's the right one. Just the size here. See if that. Okay, that's. Oh. Shoot. Okay. I might be screwed. Up. Because this doesn't fit there. That means the ones on here are smaller than that. That's wonderful. That's purely wonderful. Long story short, they're gone. So I found them on the Red Cat website. Very nice. And a 10 piece. Outstanding. Lovely. Uh, mad disappointment. Let's get the other side started. Where's that single? Alright. And also, right in. this is round. So I can't just Stick it on there and it won't not turn. Uh, so that's wonderful. Right, let's get the other side started. Shot away. Fine. Mm. <laughs> Almost lost another screw standing. Out of the way. Now I can do all this in the same lap. Oh crap, what? Why is there a gap? Huh? Oh, that's why. No big reason. Yep, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a time lapse with me doing the rest of this. And that is almost everything I can do for today. Uh, well, what I can do right now is plug the servo back in. That would be that'd be that'd be useful. Uh, stupid. Uh, put this there. No, that's not gonna work. Here. Not many options with that. Uh -uh. Uh, this. Then maybe somehow uh, it's not even. Oh wow, that actually sticks a little bit. That's that's truly shocking. Not really. It doesn't really stick. 
Um, how can I put that back? I don't know. Um, unless I taped it right there. Something. I don't think that worked. Um, don't really want to put it there. That gets me wrong. See how they is the only spot for it. Uh, I just don't know how to secure it. I mean, Wiring is an uh, interesting situation. This cord is. I wonder, does it matter which way I plug in? Yeah, I hope not. Because I just plug it in that way. And that's. You know, the wiring situation we can deal with later. I just wanted to get this thing. Back together, so I would have a better idea of how to fully put it back together when it's time to do that. So, that is it for this video. See you on the next one sometime.